Here, let's look at a typical exam question where we can be given a set of fractions and we're asked, as the instruction states, to write the following numbers in ascending order of size. Now, based on what we would have learned from previous videos, ascending means that I'm going from the smallest to the largest, okay? But here I have three quarters, three over four. Here I have a half. I have 5 over 6 and 2 thirds. It is, it is very hard to know which fraction is smallest or which fraction is largest or which would come next in that sequence. So since the denominators are different, in order for us to compare uh, the following fractions, we must first find the LCD, the lowest common multiple, such that we can make we can use the LCD to make accurate comparisons. Okay, guys. Now, basically, what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is to find the LCD of all numbers. Now, by intuition. Uh, and based on previous lessons um, and if you're not sure what we're talking about you could review the lessons on LCD okay but by finding the LCD LCD means the lowest common denominator and by intuition the lowest common denominator would be 12 because 4 2 6 and 3 can go into 12 without leaving a remainder okay and that's the smallest number when I say that. So we would have a 12 here and a 12 here. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to say 4 into 12 goes 3 times and 3 threes, I would get a 9. Let me just change my color. Let me put, use that color. I would get a 9. And then I'm saying 2 into 12 goes 6 times and 6 times 1 is 6. And then I'm saying 6 into 12 goes 2 times and 2 fives, I would get a 10 there. And then I'm saying 3 into 12 goes 4 times and 4 twos would give me 8. So here, now since I've found the LCD, it is easier to make a comparison based on which fraction is, lar is the largest or which fraction is the smallest or if I'm writing in ascending order which to start from and which would come next. Okay. However, to illustrate this a little bit clearer, I'm going to use some diagrams. Well, you may not be required to use the diagrams in the exam, but just as a beginner's course, I'll just break it down for you as simple as possible so that you can understand clearly okay, what I'm dealing, about, dealing with. Now, if, if, I am, if I want to compare 9 over 12, 6 over 12, 10 over 12, 8 over 12 to see to write them in ascending order I could go ahead and use some diagrams so let's just let's just say that this is how many fractions I have I have one two three four so we are going to compare and I'm going to use four of my fraction bars and if you notice each of my fraction bars will be divided into 12 equal parts so let me just get that okay so we have another one there and I'm going to put another one down here okay and then I'm going to put the final one down over here okay guys so let me put that one there so we're going to make some comparisons now and this is quite fun this is quite interesting and when working with fractions if you're not getting it you could always draw diagrams it, it really helps you to understand the concepts a lot better so let's say on this diagram I'm going to represent 9 out of 12 okay oops sorry about that so let me just go ahead quickly and represent my 9 this diagram here will be will represent 9 out of 12 and on this diagram I will be representing my 6 out of 12 okay on this diagram here I will be representing let me use uh, another color I will be representing my 10 out of 12 okay and note it's for this diagram down here and then for this diagram I will be representing my 8 out of 12 okay so 8 out of 12 now if I'm representing 9 out of 12 on this diagram it simply means then that I'm going to I'm gonna have to shade 9 parts out of the total of 12 parts so that would be one part let me change this this quickly okay so that would be one part so that's one that would be two this is three four 
four, four parts. This would be five, and this would be six parts, okay? Now I need to shade three more. This would be one, this would be two, and this would be three, okay? So I've shaded nine out of 12 parts, a total of 12. Let me, let's move on quickly. Here I'm going to shade six out of 12. So let me shade that part, and let me shade that part. And this would be three parts, and this would be four parts, and this would be five parts, and this would be six parts. Okay, so I've shaded six parts out of a total of 12 parts. Now let's go down here, and I'm going to shade down here, I'm going to shade 10 out of 12. So th that's one, that's two, this would be three, this is four, this is five, and this would be six, and I'm going up to ten, so this would be seven, then this would be eight parts, this would be nine parts, and this would be my tenth part. Okay, guys? And here I am shading only eight out of 12 okay so we could change our color again and use a blue this time so this would be one part this is another part that's two this would be three this would be four this would be five yep five this would be six this would be seven seven and this would be eight parts okay so there you go here i've shaded nine out of twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine here i've shaded six out of twelve one two three four five six here I've shaded 10 out of 12, and here I've shaded 8 out of 12. It's very easy to look at the diagrams to see which diagram would have, I would have shaded the most part, okay? Or which diagram I would have shaded the least amount, okay? Now, if you look carefully, if I'm writing now in ascending, if I'm writing these numbers in ascend, and let me just underline it. So let me just make a note here, in ascending order of size, in ascending ascending order of size okay let me just underline that quickly the smallest and remember ascending means I'm going from smallest to largest so the smallest amount of the diagram I would have shaded would be 6 out of 12 so let's make a comparison which fraction would re which one of the original fractions would relate to 6 out of 12 so that would be a half okay and then the next one would be after 6 out of 12 then I would have 8 out of 12. So let me look and see which original fraction relate to 8 out of 12 and that would be 2 thirds. Okay and then the next fraction would be my 9 out of 12 and the 9 out of 12 would be 3 over 4. Okay and my final fraction obviously or the largest fraction that I would have is my 10 over 10 out of 12 and that would be 5 over 6 and those would be my answers and it's it's really that easy guys when writing numbers in order of sizes okay or fractions so this would be my answer okay and I've now just written the numbers in ascending order of size I've moved from my smallest to my largest and you can make comparisons from your diagrams to see that a half of this diagram is the least amount I've shaded out of 12 followed by 8 8 over 12 9 over 12 and 10 over 12 but remember you are always rewriting the original fractions you only find the LCD to make comparisons to distinguish the difference or the different sizes rather of the fractions okay feel free to ask your question or post your comment okay and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye